All right, so now we're gonna cut out all of our shapes and we are going to stay on the straight line. The squares and triangles are probably always gonna be the easiest to cut because they are straight lines. So I'm going to just quickly cut out my shapes. I want you to follow along with me. Take your time. Try and stay right on that line. And remember to throw your trash away as we go along. I like a really clean workspace. It helps keep me focused. So now when we cut our circle, let's remember we're gonna twist the paper, not our scissors. So twist the paper. And we'll get to cut a circle at least three times because we should have one on each of our papers. All right. Now I'm gonna move on to my next color. If you're still on your first color, that's okay. Don't rush. We've got time. I just wanna show you all what we're doing. And look, I just turned my paper to cut. I'm not gonna turn my scissor hand, it always says, and I'm gonna cut right around there, cut that little piece right off. Cut that off, and then whoop, and I've got my rectangle. So we're gonna get lots of great practice in today. And now my triangle. Now I'm gonna start on the short end. You could start on a long end, then you've kind of got to figure out where should I cut. So finding a short end where your line is closest to the edge of the paper often is helpful because then you can line it up right there with the edge of that line. And try not to go over too much because you don't want to cut into your circle. So pay attention. And again, I'm twisting this hand. Just going to do all the work in today. And we're just cutting. Now, I don't have to cut that off. I could just twist it and keep that attached. And then I have less trash. And I put that at the top so everything's in a good spot. And then again, I'm gonna start here. I could start here, but that might get kind of tricky. So I'm just gonna start here in this one on my circles. I'm gonna just twist, 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 twist. Gently move my hand around and come grab it. Gently move my hand around and come grab it. Now notice our scissors, they don't move. They aren't moving, it's just this hand over here doing all the moving. I'm guiding my paper just a little bit and I'm going pretty slow. I don't have to rush. All right, we are done with the orange or whatever color you were working on. So I'm gonna to move to my next one, but oh, we'll save our special shapes for last. So again, I'm gonna start with the triangle because he's right near the edge, right to that line. And right along the line, and I'm gonna cut this one all the way off so I don't have that big paper following me around. There we go. Got another pile going. I like to keep all my things nice and neat at the top. Are you guys doing a good job keeping those scissors going forward and your opposite hand doing all the work? Now if your fingers get tired and you need to take a break, should we put our scissors down like that? No, we need to close them because if we take a nap, we close our eyes, right? So if our scissors are down for a rest, they need to be closed and at the top of our desk. But I'm going to keep on working. We don't want to take too long of a rest or we won't get to the fun part where we get to glue and color. Cutting's pretty fun too, though, because we get to make the shapes. All right. And now we have our special shapes. So a triangle, cutting that out, is very much like a square. 
because it's all straight edges. And an oval is going to be very much like a circle because we have our curved edges and longer lines. Our heart, we have a curve and a straight. So it's going to be a little bit mixed of the both. This spot right here might be the trickiest, but I know we can do it. I'm going to start with my diamond. Twist my paper around so I'm at my shortest edge. And I'm going to just cut right there. Remember, our thumbs are always up. Our thumbs are up and our little hole on the scissors. We don't want to cut like this. we got to twist our arm so our thumbs are up. And nice and relaxed. I've even got my arms just kind of resting on the desk. Our arms can be a little bit lazy. There we go. But my opposite hand doing so much work. Moving and moving. And here we go. We're going to twist like a circle. Twist like a circle and then straighten out. And now again, I'm going to cut this off because this is big and it's, it's going to get in my way. Here we go. Twist, 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 and then cut it straight. There we go. Now remember, if your shapes aren't perfect or if you cut over a line, it's okay. We are practicing, and that's why we have so many shapes. We're not actually gonna use all of these shapes. So if you mess up on one, it's okay. Not a big deal. We've made plenty of shapes for our project. So I'm going around my curved line of my heart and ooh, I'm going to stop here and twist. See how I did that? My scissors are in and I stop right at the tip. I'm going to carefully twist my paper with this hand here. I've got a little bit of a pinch going on, just a little, not hard, but just gentle. Lots of things are gentle. You don't have to be real rough. And we just twist like a circle and then straight line and I've got a heart all right I'm gonna cut out my tiny heart just for practice and I'm gonna cut that off so I don't need that in the way this is my imperfect heart because not everything has to be perfect I probably won't use it in my project but he's still cute all right, so I'm going to put my scissors down at the top of my desk, away from me so I don't knock them over. And now we are going to get to the fun part of our project. And I'm going to find my other blue triangle because I had lots of extras. I'm practicing so many shapes. So we've got all of our shapes here. Now we're going to work on our composition. What's a composition? Well, a composition is the space in which we are using to create. So now is when we need our white piece of paper or whatever color paper you're using at home um, is fine. Whatever size you have is fine. Something light or white, something your, your crayons or colored pencils will show up on is a good idea. But some colors will show up on others, so maybe think about that as you're creating. Now I've got all of these shapes. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve shapes I'm gonna have a choice of. And on our composition we're going to look at what space we have available. And I don't want it to be too crowded. So I'm going to pick up first, I like this orange circle. I'm gonna put it there. And I'm going to try, I like maybe this blue triangle down here and I'm gonna I need a rectangle now so I'm gonna get my rectangle and I'm gonna put that one here so I like how my triangles a little bit it's a little crooked my circle I mean you can't really make a circle crooked because it's just round I got my rectangle now I need something green oh I'm gonna go for that diamond make him a diamond and the diamond I'm gonna Play with them. Where do I want it in my composition? Where do I feel like this looks best? So I might, I'm going to put them here for now. And if I put them like this, he's not going to look much like a diamond. He's going to look like the wind is blowing a square away. All right, so I'm going to put my diamond here, but I feel like there's a lot of 
triangle shapes over here, so maybe I switch it out and put it over here. We're just playing around with our composition and where everything is gonna be laid out. So now I'm gonna move my friend. He's in my way, I need space to work. All right, let's see. Maybe, you know what, I think some of my other circles were bigger. I needed a bigger circle. I'm gonna grab my green big circle. There we go, I like that. I needed a big circle. And that balances out because I have green over here and green over here. And they're not both circles, so I like that. One has round edges and one has straight pointed edges. So that feels like a good balance. That's an element of art and they're on opposite sides. So now I kind of think maybe I'll put, do I want a blue square? I'd like to use this square. Maybe I'll bring this up. And I want my square straight, but maybe I'll have my rectangle. See how we're just playing around with where our shapes are and we can move them? Now we don't want them too close together like that because we are going to draw lines around each of these shapes over and over. They're gonna radiate away from the shape. They're going to become concentric, which means they continue to come out from the shape. Um, let's see. Now I've got two green, two blue, an orange, and a yellow. I don't have to have two of each. So it's up to you what you want your composition to look like. But the more you put on here, the more busy it's going to look. So six is a good number, maybe seven if I want to get another color in. And if you don't feel like using the yellow and you only want to use blue, green, and orange, or you know, if, if you have three colors you want to use and you know, blue and orange are your favorite, you can use just those. That's fine. This is your art piece. I'm going to, there we go. Maybe I'll have, yeah, I like the way. So the more shapes you have, the less lines you're going to have. I feel like I've got all of my rectangles and squares over here, so I don't want to put another one over there. Maybe I need, I'm putting a lot on here, more than I did for my last project. I feel like that's too much. I just wanted an orange to balance things out. I don't know what happens if I do this. I can, I could overlap. That might be interesting. So, I think if I do that, I'm gonna want another one overlapping because I like a balance. But that's orange and green and that feels like too much. There's so many ways you can think about it. So I want you to Think about how you want your composition and everything laid out. That's how you compose the, the items on your paper or on whatever you are using to create. If I had a canvas or a cardboard box, how we are composing everything, just like a composer uses music notes to compose a song, it's how we're putting everything together using our elements of art um, and the principles of design, how it all ends up here on our, our paper. So, and I don't wanna have any blank spaces, but I'm gonna just leave this here for now. So now comes the fun part of glue. So I've got everything laid out. Now I'm gonna take my glue off. Now, if your glue's kinda stuck, give them a little twist. I got a really big glue stick, don't I? Yeah, all right. So I've got my glue stick. I'm gonna put my lid up here so I don't lose it. All of my extra shapes, I'm gonna kind of put in a pile over here. If I have time at the end, I might even be able to create a second project. So that'll be fun. If, if you wanna create a second one, we might be able to do that. So I'm gonna put my crayons. All right, so now you can get out your glue stick if you have your shapes laid out. So if you haven't laid your shapes out yet, let's make sure we get those out and decide where you want them. 
and then we're going to begin to glue down our shapes. So I am going to just start by flipping over a shape right where it's at on my paper. I'm not going to clean everything off. And I'm just going to put glue around the edges. I don't need it all over the place. I'm going to put glue around my edges, and this is my favorite part. Pick it up, and you can put it right back, and we're going to give it a little massage. Make sure he's good and stuck. And we're going to go to our next one. I'm going to do my rectangle next, so I'm going to flip it over right where I want it on my paper. And I'm going to give him a little bit of glue. Pick him up. I'm going to put my glue stick down at the top. So I don't knock it over when I'm giving him a massage over here. And I work from my inside out. So, cause if I start over here, I could pull up a side of the paper. Like if I were doing this one, I could catch it or move it. So I always start from my inside and go out. So I don't like pull back the side of my paper. I glued him down better. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to flip over my circle. So notice I'm keeping each shape right where they're at. And if it moves a little bit, you can always twist it back or you might say, oh, I kind of like that angle. So, oops, I think I almost made a smiley face. There we go. Pick him up, flip him over. He's where I like him. And start in the middle. I'm moving the paper in the two hands. Give him a massage. Make sure he's good and down. I'm going to do my diamond next. So you can be gluing while I am gluing. And notice I'm going around the edge of each of my shapes. So I don't go to the middle. I just stay on the edge. Got my diamond. I do my blue triangle now. Around the edge. You want to make sure you do have enough from the glue stick. If, and if you don't work quickly, the glue will dry. So you do need to make sure you get the glue on there. Put your glue stick down. Put it where you want it and then give them a massage to make sure it's good and stuck. And then go to your next one. So if I sit here and I talk to you for a long time, notice how this purple clearing up real quick that means it's drying so I got to make sure I work a little bit quickly so that my glue doesn't dry up on me all right now this last one for my overlapping because the green circle is in front of the orange triangle I have to do my gluing on my orange rect, I'm sorry, this is a rectangle, not a triangle. I have to just glue down my orange rectangle first because it's behind. So I'm gonna put the glue right around the edges, right these edges. All right, and now I'm going to, I can tuck it behind or I can just move that, put him where I want him. Give him his massage. Rub-a-dub. Get him down. There we go. Now I'm ready for my last shape. My green circle. Okay. Here we go. Put my glue stick down. And voila. I have all of my shapes glued down. My composition is ready for the next step. But what should I do first before we move on? What do we need to do? Yes, put the lid on our glue. Is this good? Am I all set? No, because look, is that better? Better maybe, but look at, I still have white space. Let's listen for the click. I heard it. When it clicks, then you're all set. And I'm gonna put it up there with my scissors. And now we're going to choose what we're going to color. 
So once you've finished, put the glue stick at the top of your desk with a good click next to your scissors that are closed, taking a nap. And we are going to now, you can use colored pencil, you can use crayon, you can use markers, whatever you have to draw your, your shapes, radiating lines. So here's what we're gonna do. I am going to pick 